inky friends. Channel fans might know that I am very intrigued with pigmented inks. What you guys might not know is I have been indulging in some ink samples from Goulet Pen since they have an excellent se selection of pigmented inks and waterproof inks. So today we're going to talk about Platinum's pigmented rose red. And I went ahead and I filled my little flex, which I love using for inking. I filled my little flex with this beautiful color. And I even went ahead and I inked this cute illustration of my character, Kara, from my comic, 7-inch Kara, which you can read at 7inchkara.tumblr.com, completely free of cost. Um, or you can order from my shop if you're so inclined. Uh, check the description below. But anyway, enough plug. I went ahead and inked Kara, and it has had plenty of time to cure, and this was inked on Holbein watercolor paper. It's a very, um, it's really more like a cardstock with a nice texture on it than a watercolor paper, but it works fine. And, um, those of you who frequent the channel might remember this pigment ink test this pigment pigment ink test or that pigment ink test these were all storia inks this is lion dancer and magic and i just love how they handle how they play well with watercolor how they add a cute amount of tint to the watercolor so i am super duper excited about pigmented inks and i enjoy using fountain pens and i enjoy using fountain pens for inking i find it quite relaxing perhaps because i see it as a hobby rather than a profession so I'm going to go ahead and remove the pencil lines from this image, off camera of course, and then we can start watercoloring. Two quick notes. One, if you erase too hard, you will pick up some of the pigment even if you allowed it to cure fully. So that's just something you want to keep in mind. Don't scrub too hard. I'd highly recommend use a white vinyl eraser. They tend to be easier on your paper. Another is that you can still see the graphite in some areas where I applied it in a particularly heavy fashion. Um, up here, I actually tried scrubbing to remove some of that graphite and that's why it lifted up some of my ink. Even, I think a light erasal, eraser will have the same effect. Another thing I wanted to note is that everything has been purchased out of my own pocket. Um, while I do enjoy Goulet pens, they are by no means a sponsor, although I would of course be open to that. I mean, who wouldn't? Um, and that my interest in fountain pens and pigmented ink stems from my work as a comic artist and that I have not been paid or compensated in any way for this review or tutorial. This is my own volition and my own interest. So, um, just needed to get that out of the way for disclosure purposes. So, I am going to actually attach this using some blue painter's tape, which I always keep around. It's what I use for my Kara pages, which are full size, like 11 by 17, actually more like 11 by 15, uh, water. So, I've got this attached. It should stay fairly secure to my white gator board. The next thing I need to do is assemble my watercolors.
right guys, so other than this having a chance to dry, that's about that. I really enjoy the color of Platinum's pigment based rose red ink. And as usual, I really enjoy inking with my Noodler's Flex. It has just the right amount of give. If you're looking for a fine tip or a smaller line, the Flex is the way to go. And if you want a larger, broader line, I think the Ahab is also a way to go. And if you want to go even bigger than that, you can go with the Jin Hao modification. But I have not tested any of my pigment inks other than the Platinum Carbon Black with that. So I can't actually tell you. Um, how well some of these color inks would behave in there. So I hope you guys found this field test helpful. I hope you found it useful. Um, I hope it will inspire you to maybe use a fountain pen in your art today. And I'm always eager and happy to put out information on watercolor and waterproof inks. And I know that there's sort of a dearth of testing and information regarding um, inks for artists in the fountain pen community. So I am happy to oblige. If you would like to see me test a specific ink, let me know. And if it's available in a sample, I'll get a hold of it. But I've been amassing a small collection myself, so I may already have it and it may already be in the works. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please check out some of the other videos in my Fountain Pins playlist. It's a playlist aimed at artists who are interested in fountain pens rather than necessarily fountain pen enthusiasts. But if you find yourself in both categories, please do take a look. And if you enjoy this sort of content, make sure you subscribe because I update with this sort of stuff, art tutorials, art tests, art demonstrations, twice a week, every week. So I'll see you guys again really soon. Bye.